Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth image recognition and manipulation tutorial video. In the last video we were breaking down the array and figuring out exactly how that is structured. And now in this video we're actually going to begin working with the image. So just like I was kind of saying in the last video, most people can't just like look at an array and be like, oh okay, I, know, I see what's going on. So in some steps of the, uh, along the way it's going to be important for us to actually visualize what we're doing. Um, because as time goes on, we're going to use some basic skills to either simplify or even modify that image. And if stuff isn't working right the first time through, like a lot of times if you're trying out something new, it's not going to work like the first time you, you think it up, right? You kind of need to keep tweaking it until you get it just right the way that you want it. And if you can't see it visually, it's really hard for you to understand like what you've done with the image. So to make sure we're doing everything right, we actually want to see what the program itself is seeing. So uh, what we're going to be using is matplotlib to plot it up and show us what we're looking at. So, uh, and you could obviously uh, reconvert like whatever you've changed um, back to an image and save the image. Uh, and then you wouldn't even have to do any of this, but uh, for the ease of um, working it into our program, I think it's best to just put it into matplotlib the first time through and matplotlib is pretty easy to deal with so that's what we're going to be doing so um, just say import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then we'll bring uh, this up there and now what we're going to want to do is uh, instead of printing it out let's do plt.mshow so let's just like basically show image and then what do we want to show? We want to show IAR. And then let's just do plot.show. Save that and run it. And you should have a little pop up here. And now we can see that we've got a black dot and we've got a green dot. Okay. So then if we close out of this and we just did dot dot png, so not dot n dot, run that. And now you see we've got, you know, like the solid ish black dot, even though it kind of goes out. But what makes it useful, uh, especially down the line, is you can see where, like, what part in the grid this pixel is. And there might be some other image imports with Python as far as um, bringing up an image and using it. Maybe they don't have like the blurred lines, like or edges, like this one does. Uh, but at least uh, for the ease of matplotlib, I want to use it. And also, we're not—it's not like we're um, we need it perfect. Like we just kind of want to visualize what we've done to this image. So anyway, let me close out of that. And that is basically bringing it up within matplotlib. Obviously, let me bring it up one more time. Just show you guys with matplotlib. Like you can kind of, you can change the size of matplotlib. And there's a bunch of other things that you can do. Like you can click this thing and you can like zoom into that spot if you wanted to get really close to it. Nice. And if you get lost like this, you can just hit this home button and it takes you back home. And then if you were like, no, I don't want to go home, I want to go back, you can hit back to previous view, or you can go back forward, and, all, and so on. Or you can grab the axes and move it around like this. Um, and that's about it. You can do some stuff here. Uh, this just changes uh, the size of the plot as far as it is on the figure, and like the width, basically, like how far is it away from the edges or from other... Uh, subplots on this figure but we're not too worried about that right now so I'm not going to get into that if you want to know more about matplotlib and graphing in Python I have tons of tutorials there so check those out so I'm going to close out of that and that is how we are going to view the image after we've maybe made some changes to the image so that concludes this part in the video series as always thanks for watching